my life. Hello, you got here just in the nick of time. That is my name. Welcome to the Awkward Steve Duology. And this is an indie game that I wanted to feature on this channel because it's by one of my good buddies that I met uh, doing these Let's Plays. It's by Paul Franzen, who also helped develop Cat President, which we also played on this channel. He's an indie developer. And he sent me the key to this game because, fun fact, this game is actually going to be featured in a special exhibit in the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. in August. All of that information is down in the description below, but let's dive right into this game. This is the Awkward Steve Duology, and I always start... Hmm. Actually, the ocean looks like it could be a more hopeful place, so let's leave that for last, just in case Stranger Danger over here destroys our souls. A stranger comes calling. Anxiety. Oh god. What? What is this? Is that you, Paul? Is that you, Paul? It's it's good to finally see your face. You know. Uh. Uh. I, uh. I'm not sure how to feel at the moment. Do I. Uh oh. Do I click on your nose? Your little button nose? Oh god. Choice time. Of course! Try to see who's at the door first, okay? You know, we should be... We should be cautious. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, Paul. I mean, Awkward Steve. What's your favorite kind of scary movie? Uh-oh, three doorbell rings in a row. That's Stranger Danger. That's someone who's coming to rape you in the ass. <laughs> Help me. You know what? Answer the door. What? Why not? Why not, Steve? Why not? Okay. Keep going. Come on, we have to resolve this issue. It's probably just a Jehovah's Witness. You know, they're just coming there with their pamphlets telling you not to ever let a drop of blood leave your system. Or maybe it's a Scientologist coming to tell you that you're about to be absorbed into the cosmos by an alien. Pretty sure that's how Scientology works. Oh my god. Ugh, that that kind of creeped me out a little bit. I know it was meant to be funny, but I always hate it when horror movies do that kind of a weird movement. Hang on, he's talking. How strange. I can't see anyone. Perhaps... It's a ghost. Jump scare? Jump scare? Answer the door, get in box, call, get in box, get in box! <laughs> get in there, Metal Gear. Bones. I make such good choices for you, Steve. Such good choices. Oh, come on. You didn't even get in the box, bro. Didn't even try. It doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Ask the internet. <laughs> Quickly, to the internet. Hmm, I've got to answer questions through these air boobies. <laughs> that, that's pretty much how Yahoo Answers works. I mean, that's not an exaggeration at all. Hmm. If I stroke my face hair enough and fondle these air boobies, maybe I'll find the answer. And they are a stranger. Additional details. That's important. Those are important details. <laughs> and now we wait. Ghost on the ceiling! You have received an email. Oh my god, that was creepy. Top answer. Just answer it, Steve. You got this. Smiley face. I told you! I told you the first time, Steve! I do got this! <laughs> Maybe. Answer the door! Read the comments first. 
That's how I am in every comment section. This should be interesting. What do the comments say? Other answers. Are you an idiot, Steve? Man up, bro. I hate you, Steve. <laughs> it's me at the door. You're dead now. Uh, apostrophe and an E need to go into that sentence? Oh. My. God. I guess I deserve that. <laughs> okay. Hang out with rabbits. <laughs> Hang out with the buns. The buns will give you emotional support to answer the door. By the way, if that was a stranger at the door, they're probably gone by now, Steve. Yay, bunnies! <laughs> Alright. Uh, answer the door. What do you mean, no? You... Okay, fine. Make some tea. <laughs> that was the right answer. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what kind? Oh, black tea. Get yourself some caffeine. Get hyped up. Oh my god. It stares into my soul. And how? On a st in a microwave, like a monster. On a stove, bro. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. You must have had a waterproof GoPro there, Steve. Why do you keep a waterproof GoPro in your sink? You don't even have an unedited footage of that to post on your social medias. In this black and white filter. And call it art. This is your art, Steve. This is the art that's going into the Smithsonian. The Smithsonian. The Smithsonian. <laughs> This is taking forever. The suspense is killing me. Oh, I give up. <laughs> well, hey, at least your anxiety is going down. Five points. And if a stranger hadn't left already and just saw that water splash on there, they're probably gone by now. That is a good shot, though. It's like I always say. A watched pot is stupid. That's what we were doing, funneling air boobies. Wait, your anxiety's up to 80 now? Oh no, how are they still there? This must be a new stranger by this point. Answer the door, Steve. No, no. <laughs> we're never gonna get this door answered. Hide under the table. <laughs> there you go. I make excellent choices for you, Steve. Excellent choices. That was definitely a good idea. Even though your anxiety's gone up. Alright, take a nap, Steve. No, go away eventually. Just gotta wait him out. You just gotta wait him out. Everybody gives up eventually. Oh, wait, are you not comfortable enough to take a nap? Is that the problem we're facing right now? Yep, that's the problem we're facing. No. <laughs> I'm just too big. Alright, let's go to try to see who's at the door again. Only this time we won't get in the box. We'll try to do something productive, Steve. I promise you. I will not lead you astray. You and your punk shirt. I will not lead you astray. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Keep going. Come on. We got this. We got this, bro. You can answer a door. You got this. No, not the animation again. Oh, 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 I don't know why that freaks me out so much. Woo. How strange. I can't see anyone. All right, call the cops this time. How about answer the door? Okay, okay, fine. We're still on the hole. We're not answering. Call the cops. Do that. On a game play. <laughs> That's way too many numbers for 911, Steve. <laughs> well, that's an old school. Yes, this is the cops. What crime is it? What time is it? What crime is it? Hi, hello. Yes, there is persons unknown at my door in the outside area. Are they a bad guy? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Should we come jail them or hmm, stares into my soul? Yeah, sure. 
<laughs> Come and jail them, please. Yes, that would be great. We don't arrest people for being strangers. We're all strangers to someone, kid. But... Police out. Uh, so the cops are no help whatsoever. <laughs> Before he answers the door. Let's ask the internet again. Read the comments. No, don't read the comments. That's what got you. Okay, keep hanging out with rabbits. Keep hanging out with rabbits. You gotta get your anxiety level, I think, below a certain point in order for you to answer the door. Is that a rabbit butt? Whoa, cool buns. <laughs> Hang out with Turtle. Yeah, he's cool. Turtles are awesome. Turtles are full of wisdom and experience and weird gurgling things. Look at that. Look at that girdle. He's adorable. Turtle. <laughs> If I make some tea, you're just gonna get uh, upset. So how about you answer the door? Still no? Still no. Okay, but that's a slightly less emphatic nod than before. Do a crossword. Crosswords are fun. But, 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 but. Wow, this is the easiest crossword I've ever seen in my life. But, but. Wait, 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 watch out. Watch out. I think that other one might be but. Oh no, did I just send your answer? Oh no, it's, it's down. Okay. Answer the door. You're at 50. No. Okay. So make some tea. Oh, wait. Green tea, that calms you. Just do it in a microwave, bro. Just, just, just do it in a microwave. Like a monster. Like the monster that you... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, if you just... There we go. That's how you get water in a cup. Oh, see, I always usually heat the water up first. And then once it's hot, I put the tea back in. Have I been doing tea wrong all my life? in the Smithsonian. The Smithsonian. The Smithsonian. <laughs> what? You jog too much, Steve. <laughs> yeah, you drink that tea. You drink it. You drink it good. Bye, 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 babble, babble. Yum. So relax. Good. Answer the door. Still too much? You're still too anxious. What are we doing again? Okay. Answer the door. Okay, you still won't do that. Try to see who's at the door. Pretend you're not there. Hit the lights. Get inbox. Ask the internet. Hang out with rabbits. Keep hanging out with rabbits. Hang out with turtle. Make some tea. Green tea. In a microphone. Yes! Now answer the door! Yes! We did it! Oh, we're gonna do it! We're gonna do it! We're gonna do it! We're gonna answer the door! That's what we had to do all this time. Let's do this. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited, timekeepers. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are you serious, bro? Hello! Who's there? Who goes there? It is... Nothing. Well, yeah, because they probably moved on, bro. I'm not going to wait out there while you drink so many teas and hang out with so many rabbits and get in so many boxes. That's not how society works. <laughs> oh, Paul, what are you doing to me, man? Why, why do you have me invested in this black and white version of yourself? Oh, no. Be a grown-up! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be a grown-up. Here we go. <laughs> Trick or treat. Aww. It was Halloween all along. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Yay! We did it! We answered the door! <laughs> you have been enjoying A Stranger Comes Calling, part of the Awkward Steve Legacy, an object to R by Orock Studios. <laughs> Writer, director, head boy, programmer, casting, cast, stunt, cinematographer, group reader, eye direction, prom, master set, decoration, sound design, foley recordist, lighting, animal, wrangler, beard, wrangler, decolorization, PR, craft service, Paul Franson. <laughs> and Max Porter as Cool Shark. Aw, Maya Phoenix and Agris. Nice. That was cool. It's a cool little game. It, it reminded me of those uh, old school games I would play in the museums. Like I, I, I went to a, a news museum one time where you had to be a news reporter for a newspaper and you had to make choices like this and they did all these video scenarios and everything like this. Well guys, that was the Awkward Steve Duology. I'm not going to do Ocean because if you want to do Ocean, I'm going to give you the chance to experience that for yourself. Link down in the description if you'd like to purchase the game. Or also check the description for when these two games are going to be on display in the Smithsonian Museum. I just want to send out a quick congratulations to Paul for having this honor of hosting it in that museum. I hope it goes really great for you, buddy. And if you had a good time, don't forget to take the time to tick the like slash upvote button. And don't forget to subscribe and or follow. And remember, do the best that you can with the time that you've been given.